How's it going, everybody? Hey there. It's Pablo. And I'm Laura. And we're the Sierra State Liquidators. And uh, happy to be back. Yes. Doing our videos again, catching up where we uh, once left off, doing haul videos and helping those that are wanting to get into this business as we did uh, about a year ago. Last, uh, last February, we got into it. So we're, we're in our sophomore year <laughs> of reselling. And uh, it's been fun. It's been great. Uh, really hit it hard once we moved into our casa, our first house that we just bought back in June, and now we have tons more room than we did in our apartment to uh, actually buy and, and resell. So um, about six months properly, seven months properly of really uh, hitting resell hard. Yep. And uh, <clears throat> and and we've been really branching out now with uh, a lot of local type stuff. Uh, let it go and offer up. So a lot of those uh, phone apps that you can use to contact, uh, get in contact with people that uh, to resell stuff with, man, it's uh, it's been working out really well. Yeah, we've done uh, we've done some good stuff this last past week with that. Uh, sold my old dresser from like middle school. Mm -hmm. I'm 31. That thing was not in pristine shape, but hey, we have nothing in it. So you know, anything we got out of that was it's profit. And the guy about busted his head in our driveway <laughs> trying to put it in his in the back of his uh, Jeep. Didn't want my he help. Didn't need help. I was like, okay. Help. I was just watching. All I wanted to do was just hit the garage door button and be like, <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> he did not want my help. He wanted to be Mr. Macho Man. So I was like, okay, you already paid for it. You break it. You already bought it. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna we're gonna do a little haul video later on. But right now, for a little teaser, we're just going to show a few things that we uh, picked up uh, in the last couple weeks that uh, we haven't been filming. So, uh, haul videos much. So, here... We um, found this little thrift store, I guess you would call it. Um, the lady that owns it, or the people that own it, um, they <clears throat> buy out um, storage units. Mm -hmm. And so they had a orange tag sale yeah. um, for whatever was tagged with orange was 25 cents. Mm -hmm. So we found um, this mug. It's a Fire King mug. Um, it says Anchor Hawking on the bottom of it. Red. Um, I think usually you get these in more of a set and sell them as a set, but this is just the one that we had, so we're excited about this. Mm -hmm. um, pretty cool. And then um, we picked up a few other things there, but we're just going to show you just these two things today. Um, and then we went to an estate sale this past week and got a couple of things, um, but this was one that we wanted to show you. It's a banker's lamp. Um, it's got a brass colored um, base and arm and then this cool green shade. Um, we liked that a lot, but we, I feel like really scored big at that oh, yeah. estate sale because the guy didn't have prices on anything. He just, you brought your stuff to him and then he just priced it as mm -hmm. he went on the fly. Um, so we got six mm -hmm. items for $11 there. Um, we got that. We got a really cool kaleidoscope thing. And, that we'll um, show you later. A snowman, Jim Shore snowman, if you're <laughs> familiar with that Christmas snowman. Um, just a few cool things. I wasn't. I was because I always loved them. So. Snowmans are my thing. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Guys that are in uh, trying to get in reselling, if you're not married, have a girlfriend, get a lady because they're going to know <laughs> stuff that you don't know. I didn't know anything about that little snowman. She did. So, good. <laughs> it's good for everybody. Yeah. So, um, it was really neat, though, to, to get the stuff there because, like I said, he nothing was priced. So, no. you just walked up to him afterwards with your handful of whatever and... He told you how much it was, so it was good stuff. Except for that quilt. Yeah, so I'm a photographer, and I found a quilt that I was in love with because I'm doing some Easter photos this upcoming weekend, and it would have been perfect, but there was a set price, and I didn't want to pay that price because I'm just going to be tossing it on the ground for people to sit on. So as much as I loved it, I couldn't pay the price. So, yeah. Oh, well. We'll find another one. <laughs> We're going to do a little haul in, uh, here in a... Uh... A little bit, little haul video later. We're gonna go hit up uh, one more store, and then we'll get back. And it'll probably be dark by the time we do this, so it's light outside. Hopefully, it's not too blurry with the the window in the background. Little man's crying. He's awake from his nap, so it's time to go to hit up one more store. 
We'll see you guys in just a little bit after these commercials. Um, There's no commercials. No commercials. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right now. Bye. What's going on, everybody? We are back. Yes. We did our quick little uh, sourcing at the at the Goodwill just up the store, just up the store, mm -hmm. <laughs> just up the road from us, about uh, ten minutes away. It's really nice and convenient, very close to the house, and uh, one of our favorites because it's close to the house. Yeah, it's nice. But we um, we got a few things there, pretty nice. We're not going to show you everything that we got tonight. Um, there's just a good bit of stuff. It um, with our stores here in in Georgia. Sunday is the day that they change colors. It's probably like that in other places, but I don't live in other places. I live in Georgia. Mm -hmm. I can only tell you what I see here. Sundays, that's when they change colors. So there's a bunch of stuff that was half off. So we got a lot of good stuff. Um, we'll go over some of that stuff. We'll go over some of the stuff that we found at other places. There's a, um, a church ran mission store, thrift store, mm -hmm. that's just right here in town as well. About five minutes from the house. Real, just local places that we like to hit up. Um, and also an estate sale that we hit up this past Thursday. Um, we actually kind of touched a little bit on that with the first part of this video that we did. Um, but Laura's going to go over some more stuff. Yes. Um, this is the kaleidoscope that we talked about. Um, it's really pretty blue color. Mm -hmm. We actually initially picked it up... Um, our son thought it was really cool. He was grabbing for it, and Pablo, I think, thought it was plastic yeah, that at was first, plastic. and then picked it up and realized it's not plastic. It's pretty heavy. Yep. Um, it's really nice. Um, we that estate sale. We ended up everything cost us less than two dollars, just the way they lack of pricing, I guess you could say. Um, it was again. more you just walk up to the guy and he gives you a price for everything. So um, less than two dollars. We expect to get seventy five dollars for it. Really nice. Vintage kaleidoscope. 1960s. Yeah. yeah, really nice. Kind of a cobalt blue stained glass on the outside mm -hmm. with brass uh, metal around uh, as framing. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, something else that caught my eye today whenever we were um, out was this little um, cosmetic bag. Uh, Neiman Marcus cosmetic bag. Still has the tags attached to it. It's in really good condition. Um, I just saw it because it was Neiman Marcus and thought that might be something and um, it's going to be about probably about $25 and it was $2 today so and that's a, a good one. That's a good one. We got um, two mugs. This is a Starbucks mug mm -hmm. and this is a federal glass. I don't think you're going to be able to see it but on the bottom it's got a, a shield. shield with an F. Um, we got these at the church mission store. They're going to be broken. Let's not break them. <laughs> um, we have done Starbucks like travel tumblers before, but not very many actual mugs. So I'm excited to see, um, how this one does. This is kind of just a simple, you know, Pretty Starbucks generic. emblem, Starbucks says it on the bottom, you know, just kind of something simple. Yeah. I like it. And then this federal glass, um, these do pretty well. Also, usually better in a set, but they only had one, so maybe we'll get lucky and someone will have broken theirs or love this beautiful oh, we almost broke ours. green color. Glad that it's nice and sturdy. There you go. The last thing I'm going to share with you guys is a um, riding helmet, a horseback riding helmet. Um, most of the time you wear these types of helmets if you do like hunter or hunter jumper, if you're familiar with horseback riding. Um, I actually wore one of these whenever I was younger. I was a horseback rider back in the day. Um, anyway, I digress. Um, these, I think, go for about $100, right? It's Australian. Australian. Yeah. So we're excited about that. It's in really good condition. Yep. Um, I'll dive into some of the stuff that, we, uh, that we've got here in recent uh, weeks. This one was not got. We did not get this one today. Um, this is... That's in Spanish. It's if you speak Spanish, there you go. If um, you speak English, the right side up. There we go. Uh, the uh, VHS rewinders. These are great. Uh, this one still looks like brand new. Uh, I mean, still in the bubble wrap. Little uh, booklet with it and everything. I mean, it's in amazing shape. We're just going to say used. And we're going to say mint condition. Um, 
because I'm not sure necessarily that it's brand new, but we'll, we'll sell it as used and say that it's in mint condition. We've tested it, works great. No fears whatsoever about this one. This was a good find, a couple bucks, and it should should sell pretty, pretty decently, um, especially for the condition that it's in. This little, this little guy, little trophy guy here, it says uh, 1982 on the on the actual trophy itself little collector's piece trophy um, little, little Phillies guy there see that you know, for like a dollar why not give it a shot we haven't looked it up yet but um, somebody's gonna want it I'm sure they're gonna want it in their little collection of things that are collectible oh. nah. Whatever. anyways now we're gonna we're gonna dive into um, we're gonna jump back and forth. That was Goodwill. Now we're gonna go back to the uh, mission store, the church ran mission store. This was uh, pretty cool because uh, we actually like to go um, hiking and camping, and I wanted to keep this, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So, what it is? It's this, one of the hard parts about doing this. You find things that you love, find stuff that you really should sell all the time, all the time. Uh, this is a little stove. Essentially, that's what it is. It's a little propane stove, and you put those into place so they lock in. You, you can move them, and then you just lock it in. So now it's a little stove. You put your, and then you get to cooking. So this little guy right here was part of a box that we got at this uh, mission store at the uh, thrift store ran by the church. And it was on the box it says Coleman Ladder. Ladder. Lantern, <laughs> Lantern. four ninety nine for the entire box. And just because something is not a whole unit, you shouldn't pass up on it. Um, this box is full of like parts and pieces and um, I wasn't gonna pass it up not for four ninety nine when some of these parts and pieces will exceed that. This little stove is gonna pay for that and probably double. Um, so I'm not worried about the, the $4.99 and everything being in parts and pieces because if the whole unit itself goes for good money, then the parts itself are going to be, you know, some decent money as well. So, again, Coleman brand, as you can see. Mm, Coleman. And this right here, you know, again, it's going to be somebody that needs it, doesn't have it, trying to replace one, whatever the case may be. I've got it. They're going to want it. Um, if they need the lid, we have the lid. Mm -hmm. We've got the cover. We've got uh, the handle. We've also got... We've also got... We've got pretty much everything. We can make one unit just about if we want to. Oh, but nice. I think we might just part it out um, just for the sake of... Uh, this, it does say Coleman on there. It's on there. Made in the U.S. says Coleman. It's got all the nice little information for us to be able to look up everything specifically. It's the glass portion. It's the of glass the, portion of it. The lantern. Trust me, it's in there. I'm not going to get it out. I'd rather it stay bubble wrapped and safe and secure until it's gone. Um, and there's some other stuff in there too. Um, making lots of noise. We're gonna wake up, wake up the baby. Don't wake the baby. Don't wake the baby. <laughs> Handle and the heat shield. Again, Coleman says it on there. I don't know if you can see that one. Yeah, it says right there, Coleman. Mhm. Mm so, lots of great stuff there from that store. Um, lots of great finds and. We're going to jump back over to the Goodwill. This is stuff from tonight that we yes. got. Um, I, myself, and the wife, we like to we like ride motorcycles. So it's kind of one of our one of our passions that you guys didn't know about outside of reselling. Um, one of the one of the things about motorcycles is that the, the people that ride are very passionate about it. So you can you can really find some people that are gonna are really gonna dig this kind of stuff. Um, this one is a button up, a Triumph 
button up shirt. It's really cool. It's going to dry up there. Dry up. And then a big one on the back. Boom. Get your ride on. <laughs> Get your ride on. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this one, I would. I'd keep for myself. I don't actually ride those motorcycles, but it's still a cool shirt. I'd I'd rock it anyways. Uh, we've done. We recently done on the uh, Reseller Society. If you're not a member, you should go on Facebook and be a member of the Reseller Society. We are. We like it. It's like-minded people. We give each other tips and and whatnot and uh, information. If you're if you're a little foggy on something and. You may find somebody that's an expert on there that you're not an expert of, but you saw something that you knew was of value and just need a little extra help with it. A lot of great people on there. Everybody's very helpful um, and uh, definitely recommend it. Reseller Society. The Reseller Society on Facebook. Uh, very cool. But we actually posted on there about a 1971 mm -hmm. uh, cafe style racing helmet that we picked up at the Goodwill for... 292 and within less than one minute we had a watcher we had six views and three hours later we had an offer for $65 which we countered at uh, $75 and they accepted right away I mean just a great great find that was with free shipping so after shipping and fees we were we profited about um, somewhere between like 55 to 60, somewhere in that range. Uh, I don't have it right in front of me where I could tell you exactly how much, but it was somewhere around there. Either way, when you pick something up for three dollars and you make about 55 to 60 dollars, it's great. It's perfect. Absolutely. That's what we do this for. I mean, it, that kind of exciting stuff. So, away from motorcycles and going into the gambler, <laughs> this right here. You can kind of put keywords like uh, rockabilly, kind of the deal. This has the uh, the pearl snaps. Uh, pearl snaps. Pearl snaps are great to pick up. Um, this got you know the little dice right there on both sides. Really cool shirt. And uh, the gambler out there is going to want this thing. This is more of a substance shirt than it. Uh, excuse me. Than it is. Um, the type of brand or anything because it's not, not a really popular brand but it's just a cool looking shirt someone's going to like it and it was half off today so we picked it up for what less than three dollars yeah and we're expecting somewhere between 15 to 20 dollars on that really cool and great shape it's an extra large uh so good size um i like it not enough to keep it <laughs> I'll sell that one. The Triumph one I would keep. So, all in all, I mean, that's just a snippet of things that we have picked up. There's some other stuff too. Um, a Batman tin that we picked up. A uh, lunchbox from the uh, the, the church um, store. And that one, that one, I think we picked it up for a $0.99 cents a I, dollar. I think so, yeah. And uh, we'll probably get somewhere around 10 to 15 for it. Uh, really cool. Um, uh, da, 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 Yeah, I mean, just can't think of anything else, honey. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's just a just a real quick little haul video for you guys. We're excited to get back into this. Uh, we really are. Um, a lot of thanks to um, everybody that's been giving us some shout outs out there. Uh, I believe we said that earlier, but we'll say it again. Uh, really appreciate it to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. We're going to be posting uh, more more videos, more tips. Um, you know, if you're new to this, we're in our sophomore year. Come with us. <laughs> Ride with us in this journey uh, of reselling. It's really cool. A lot of uh, a lot of great things can come out of this if you really stay focused. Post, post, post. Uh, most importantly, you know, buying's one thing. Uh, but you got to post it. It's not going to do anything just piling up in the corner of your office, um, which we've got a pretty nice little pile going on, but we did it on purpose because we don't like to get low on our supply. 
like to keep it up. So uh, definitely just uh, keep finding, keep posting, keep uh, keep at it, and do your very best to um, you know make great posts, clear pictures, lots of descriptions, give people all the measurements that you can on certain things. Uh, it just helps in, in general. So there's a quick little tip for you of the day. Little tip of the day. You just got it. Um, so yeah, that's it. We're going to go and we're going to post this stuff. Probably not tonight because it's pretty late. Um, but yeah, anything else? Yeah, I think that's it. Hey, thank you guys so much again. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, share it with friends. Tell people about us. We're uh, just a mom and pop. <laughs> <laughs> We're mom and pop. <laughs> we are for real though. Uh, yeah. We have one year old now, so it's still kind of surreal to us. We had four years of of quiet marriage, and now we have a very recessy little one year old. He's awesome. Wouldn't uh, change it for anything. He's a tiny little monster. Yes, he is. He's our little monster. So thank you guys so much again. Check us out because we're going to be coming back with lots more. Peace. Bye, guys.